Hey, how's everybody doing? We uh, just made it to the uh, Piedra Errada um, Monarch uh, Butterfly Reserve in Valle de Bravo, Mexico. And um, behind us you can see all the uh, horses and that's which we uh, plan on um, taking up the uh, mountain tomorrow to uh, check out all the butterflies. Yep, shall be fun. This is uh, her bucket list, so. <laughs> And uh, she uh, loves horses, so that's just a double bonus. Yes, it is. <laughs> That'll get me out of the doghouse. But <laughs> yeah. uh, anyhow, we um, negotiated to uh, be able to park here for the night as well in our um, in our van. So that's a real bonus too, uh, to have a place to stay, and then we can get up in the morning and uh, and get an early start, and uh, you know have the day to you know um, see all the butterflies and. Uh, and do the hike. So um, we're in the mountains here, Valle de Bravo, and uh, then down at the bottom there's a big lake. So it's really, really a beautiful area, and it's, from what I've been told, the uh, playground for uh, much of uh, Mexico City's rich people who um, come here on weekends and who have um, very expensive, like million dollar places and that on the lake. <clears throat> and it's probably a couple hours from uh, Mexico City. So this is, uh, this is their, uh, like I say, their um, playground, but it is very nice down there as well. It was just too busy for us, and we couldn't really get parked or anything. So, anyhow, um, we'll uh, talk to you later. Cheers. Vamos. <laughs> oh boy. Me and horses just don't, I don't know. I'm not saying we don't get along, but I don't think we trust each other too much. So this should be interesting. Elaine likes horses, but. Ooh, here we go. Giddy up. Giddy up. So it's about a 25 minute uh, trek up here, from what I'm told. It's just beautiful here in the forest. Okay, so we're continuing our trek here. So uh, the uh, monarchs, uh, as you probably already know, migrate from Canada and the US and come down here in the fall. Um, usually you're here by November, I think, or possibly maybe earlier, but November for sure. They said the best months to come and see them, typically, depending on weather, is uh, December, January, um, February, they, early February is probably good too, but once late February and March come, they start their migration back home. So just if you're interested in coming to do this, that's, uh, that's what we've been informed. So the journey continues. Um, I just found out that Elaine's horse's name is Lewis and mine is Lunes, which means Monday. And her horse is six years old, and mine's 12. So he was doing a little bit more huffing and puffing than the, uh, the younger one ahead. We're just starting to see a few butterflies come here, but it's been, uh, it was really cold last night, and so they tend not to come out until the uh, sun gets out in full force and uh, warms them up, and then they, <clears throat> they start um, unbunching from the trees and uh and start flying around so hopefully as we progress we'll start uh, to see that wow it's just beautiful through here it's actually really steep where we're going up right now so i was talking to our guide here and he said that uh lunes my horse will work about another eight years until he's 20 and uh then he will uh go to the retirement home so Thought that was interesting, but we're starting to get into more sun and definitely climbing up a very steep grade. Very beautiful. So we're starting to see a little more action as we get going here. It's getting sunnier, so they're uh, coming out of the trees. There's not a, a ton of them, but there's quite a few, uh, quite a few coming out. So we've stopped. And um, you can see up ahead here, there's a lot, a lot more starting to come out. You may not pick them up too well with this camera because they're so small, but. 
Well, this is quite a hike, so we're doing, dropped the horses off and we're doing another 15 minutes by, by trail and it is really steep. 3,200. 3,000. Okay, see. Sí. So about 9,000 feet? Sí. Woo. <laughs> okay, do you hear that? That's why we're huffing and puffing. Yeah. Last night I had a hard time uh, breathing because we were in uh, such high altitude and um, definitely really feeling it now. Not used to it and uh, I was up half the night having uh, problems breathing, but uh, I now I know why. More and more we keep seeing them coming out as we get higher. But it's uh it's quite a hike, isn't it? She's got some moss that apparently they are attracted to. So she's just sitting sitting here holding it to see if they come. But there's definitely a lot more here. There you can see them on the plants there. Yeah, they're really coming out now with the sun. Bunch of dead ones. Es cementerio. Ah, sí. Sí. Oh, sí. I'm not sure if you can see them, but there's big clumps of butterflies up in those branches. It's still cold, so some of them wait until it warms up. But there's uh, thousands of them. Helping the trees clump together and they're just starting to come out. This is our final stop. Well? Very impressive. Yeah. You can hear just their flutters when they're flying by. Yeah, it's amazing how many there are. Like I say, just, just hard to do justice with the camera. Oh, isn't that cute? There's my honey with all the butterflies. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> nice. There, I think you could start a new fashion back home. There you go. Yeah, they're really coming out now. Well, we're heading back down the mountain to our trusty steeds. I'm sure glad we took the horses. This was a hike in itself, just going up um, the last bit where we parked the horses. Very, very, very steep. So definitely not disappointed with the horses. <laughs> I would highly recommend them. So beautiful here. <laughs> and down we go. It's amazing we had to come all the way to Mexico to see uh, the monarchs when we have them at home, but we hardly see one or two at a time at home anymore. Um, so if you want to see them, in numbers like this, you've, you've got to come to Mexico because uh, you're not going to get that back in Canada and the US. 
is just the perfect uh, climate for them to come down and uh, reproduce. All these little red plants and purple ones, they love them for the nectar. And so like I say, it's a perfect place for them to come down and, uh, and hatch their uh, young ones. And then they uh, die. And that's the end of the life cycle for, for the adults. Yeah, of course, I had to uh, eat her dust on the way up, and now I'm eating her dust on the way down. What's wrong with this picture? I'm going to have to have a little talk with her when we get back. <coughs> She's just up there laughing. No respect, no respect. Gracias.